よ来たね悪いな練習中に呼び出してしまって Don't worry about it So did something happen? まあなハヤトあれをハヤトああ Damn, his name is Hayato. Isn't that the same dude?、Uh, that's the same name from fucking Ninja Gaiden. That's cool and badass. Should I say puts out a laptop after he says that? Obviously. Shindo normally our region representative. But this time, Saki no is taking his place. Kekka, detan deo. Tsui Saki ne. I see. Forgot the grand finals for today. So, who won? I haven't been keeping up with it. Partially because there's no remote island that's south of Kyushu. It makes it hard to keep track. Though the main reason is that I'm sure I know how it turned out. I see. I knew what he was gonna say, but that doesn't soften the blow at all. Honestly, I kind of wanted her to win, since she beat Shindo san and all. Still, I'm in awe at her dominant display. Hmm? What do you mean? Instead of answering my question, should I say simply points at his laptop screen? On it? I see a recording of local TV channel from the area of the national took place. Is this Inoue match? Ah, so that. Sweet. Just be a huge help. Inoue's been destroying videos and matches for a while now, so it's hard to find any tape on her. Excuse me. Luckily, this tournament just took place, so she probably hasn't had a chance to scrub the recording. Man, good thing we have Shirase in our corner. Shirase trails off as he plays the video. You know, her opponent appears on screen. There are some subtitles that display the、uh, player's school and name, too, but they look pretty cheap. Ah, he's. I think I've seen him on FC fan sites. Uh, I now remember him. He's a pretty famous player in northeastern Japan. His home is in an area full of mountains, and he among the best despite the handicap, which has earned him the nickname Child of Dia. He's so good that he never failed to make the regionals. If I remember correctly, he put up a good fight against Shindo last year. Well, she jumped to the second line and used a disgusting birdcage suit. Did she use a different style? I look at the screen. Seriously? This can't be! In the video, she's rushing straight to her second. And after that, she soared right to third. This is. It's nothing like her usual play style. She's playing like a normal speeder. From first to second to second to third. And it was competing in the most straightforward manner unimaginable. Imaginable. <laughs> Yeah, I think I do. I'm pretty sure Saki Inoue chooses her playstyle based on her opponent. Which means she only showed off her playstyle that destroys the regular convention of FC because she acknowledged Shindo's skill. The national may have technically been more important, but there was no one there as good as him, so she didn't take it seriously. God, I feel bad for her opponent. She was trying to win while concealing her secret, and it worked. <laughs> It's fine, really. Thanks. I understand why they called me out here. 
Knowing that our opponent is so thorough is helpful in its own way. My goal is to win while enjoying ourselves. Unfortunately, it just seems harder and harder every time I learn something new about our opponent. Hey, Really? Well, I am kind of fired up. Not knowing a thing about our opponent is terrifying, but I can't let that drag us down. It's better to just look forward to the challenge. I can't stop thinking about how to gather information on Saki Inoue as I walk back home. At the end of the day, more information can't hurt. Like, it would really help if we knew how she practiced. Unfortunately, I doubt should I say context would dig up anything. Plus, the internet's a total bust. What to do? It's hard to resist the temptation to find out more about the enemy before us. However, all the information shrouded in a thick cushion. Gotta come up with something. I just have to. What the fuck? In the woods. Which way should I go? Don't say that. I'm not doing this because I want to. Oscar's with us. In the end, I wander about aimlessly after I've had to come up with a way to gather information on Saki in a way. And it was like I just so happened to appear right before I got home. I was doomed the moment I told her what I was thinking. Can't believe I let her blackmail me into this. I won't show you any mercy if Oscar ever sees that video. What kind of video is it? I find it hard to believe when it's coming for someone who's willing to resort to blackmail. Anyway, why'd you involve Asuka? She got nothing to do with this. I don't want her to get into any trouble. Huh? Really? Uh, no, it's only yes. You shouldn't have told her about any of this. Won't you just lead the way? Why you gotta tell me where to go? Yeah, whatever. And blame everything on you if we get caught, Saka. Damn, she's pretty good. How did she know this? This place, damn, we got a roof and everything. I finally spot Kyo to you. Practice facility once we got out of the woods. It's like a baseball stadium of a dome. That is pretty cheating. Makes sense. Plus, there's no danger of any secrets leaking thing to the dome. So you got us, Sound like you got caught before. Mm, what? You know what? Forget it. I'll just keep my voice down. I follow instruction and peer inside. Here goes nothing. Ah, there she is. Asuka! Asuka learned by what she sees. Ah! And honestly, so am I. Red and blue? 
In a way, gauging a dogfight. Damn, that's a lot of people. Damn, who's that red haired girl? It was all fine and dandy, but the way she's doing it is abnormal. That's right, Inoue practice is a lot like our own. Man, she got some insanely good opponents. We have Johansson from Finland, Chapman from England, and last and certainly by not least, the runner up of last year's Europe Championship, Greiner from Germany. <laughs> I like her. She's pretty nice. イギリスのエリックチャップマンは現在若手の男性選手で一番の成長株と言われてるっす。相手に食らいついたら絶対に離れない蛇のような戦いぶりで恐れられてるっす。で、最後が本命のドイツのゲルベルトグライナー。イニシャルを取ってビッグGGとも言われる大物で、コーチが言った通り、昨年の欧州選手権は2位に入ったっす。I like that. Big GG and GGs. That was me. とにかくすごい選手ばっかりってことなんですね。yeah, she's only good because she trains with the best. Yeah, this is mind-blowing lineup. Their players are only seen on TV and internet. Hell, even Oi son only ever met them once or twice, and she played professionally overseas. Yet they're allowing themselves to be used as pawns? To make matters worse, they're all going at her at the same time. It means they're basically admitting they stand no chance against her. This is. Yeah, sasuga no coach mo kore ni wa chotto gakuburu su yo ne. Oji kezui chattan ja no. It's fired up. <laughs> yeah. All right. I kind of knew that. It's really exciting, isn't it, Oscar? I look at Oscar as I finish my sentence. Hi. Yeah. Totally! It's easy to give in to fear. However, there's no real point burdening yourself with that pressure, since that'll just weigh you down. In fact, it's more important to have the exact opposite mindset. Getting excited about a challenge is a far better path to victory. I finally get it now, Oisan. This song grown to me. I already like this song now. And I, I think this is my new favorite song for this game. It grown on me, man. Whenever I just play this song, something cool happens. I like this song a lot. It has a lot of good experience now. You know, it keeps running through the Superman level of practice. And as we observe it all, Sai keeps escaping our lips. However, they can't sigh of resonation. Instead, they're born out of a sense of admiration, as well as a desire to join in on the fun. Sure thing. Later. I wave at Asuka as she heads on home. What's up? Osaka pulls out a memory card with a serious expression on her face. これ、コーチにあげるっす。What's on it? Uh, but aren't these 
She must have spent a long time gathering these for her articles. Can't she just make copies? Why she had to? I mean, I, I'll take it. Thanks. Got it. But why share them with me now? Hope this isn't another hair-brained scheme she cooked up to manipulate me. It's fun. Huh? Hosaka, you. This round's too good. Everybody's rooting for Oscar. Everybody. Everybody. Let me be everybody. We're missing a couple of characters. But come on, man. It's like 90% of the cast is rooting for her already. That's super cool. I love that feeling. It makes me want to root for her too. Surishimasu. Dang, she gone. Like the wind. I'll put this to good use, Hosaka. Damn, just saw. Oh man. So this guy. いかがいたしましょう。学校を通じて警告を与えましょうか。いいえ。それには及びません。今日の練習は見せてもいいものでしたから。あ、はい。え、ブリッジ。他には何かありましたか。あ、それが様子を観察していたのですが、船浜の生
はいはいすぐに伝えますはいどうしたの明らかに大変なことが起きたっぽい感じでしたけどうん結構びっくりした何か事件でもあったんですかうん日向君のお客さんだったんだまあよりによって今この人ですかって感じうん I haven't been up here in a long time. I'm at the launch garden that located on the roof of our main school building. It's a pretty popular spot, so it gets real crowded at lunch. I eat lunch in our club room. It hits practice right after school, so I never have the time or good reason to visit the place. That's why I haven't been up here in nearly a year. I finally get to see it again, but she has to be here to kill the mood. She has to be here to kill the mood. I approached the person who's waiting for me near the back of the garden. Sorry I kept you waiting. She has the same friendly smile on her face as the last time I met her. I did not sign and grease me with those words. This is her second visit to Kunohama. Compared to her grand interest last time, this is rather anticlimactic. However, this match uh, actually makes things worse, since I can't even guess her motives. She want to have another practice match? No way I'll agree to that. I won't let her try to break Oscar's spirit. I calm my breathing and face this monster before me. She seems a lot larger than her actual height. Guess this just goes to show how intimidating she is. What brings you here today? Open the conversation with the main question on my mind. Apologize? You mean for the challenging us to a practice match without any prior notice? Arena lowers her head as she says that. Why do I feel so uneasy when she's delivering an apology? Maybe it's just because she's hard to deal with in general? But I've been feeling this dull ache in my body ever since I got up here. Don't worry about it. I'm not holding it against you or anything. So, is that all? I doubt it, but I may make a dream. Maybe I'll get off easy. Yeah. I don't know, slowly raises her head again. At which point I find the same friendly smile as always plastered on her face. Ah, uh, Damn, they're gonna skip. I mean, not skip, but uh, yeah, cliff hanging. Oh, Aoyagi Moto, is she what the noka? Hi, Asuka chan, the Kewa, Hinata Kun, Hanashiba, Marano, Jita Matter, and Tai is good. I got as a two jits than I, Asuka. Sense, do stow yangi, Yana is all, son, the Kawai goes there. ひなたくんに合わせたんですかそのことかイリーナさんのことだからまたどうせ何か妙なことを考えてるに決まってるせっかく明日香ちゃんも元気になったのにここでまた変なことされたら振り出しに戻っちゃいます先生だってそれは分
今日いやこれまでずっとイリーナがやってきたことはアスカを潰すためなんかじゃないぞ先日の道場破りも今日の訪問も練習をわざと見せたのも全ては一つの目的のためだよ、えー、でもアスカちゃんじゃなかったら目的ってまさかそんな今お前が想像した通りだよ Well, go on. What do you actually want? Damn. I thought this was going to be a true route, too. They're going to put it in this route? Hmm. I wonder what's left in true route, then. Irina takes a step forward after I ask that question. Hmm? What are you trying to say? Is she implying Asuka's not good enough? Maybe that was true before, but now she's better than Misaki. By this point, even Shindo thinks she has a real shot at winning. And from what I've seen, I'm with him on that. You don't think Asuka can cut it? No, I don't think so. Asuka is very strong. Then, what are you? そうやって逃げているのですかアリナ、スタッフに入れたハートを持っているのですかアリナ、スタッフに入れたハートを持っているのですかアリナ、スタッフに入れたハートを持っているのですかフライングサーカス元ジュニア日本代表、日向正也さん。ダメ日向くん、なんですね。あ、ダメ、これはアニメ。アリナさん、一体ひなたくんに何をするつもりなんですかそんなの一つだよあいつの傷をえぐりに来たんだ傷でもいつかは向かい合わなければいけないマサイが FC に関われば関わるほどそれとの距離は近づく私ひなたくんのことは深くは知りませんし自分からあれこれ聞くこともないですけど傷をえぐられて大丈夫なんですか、ひなたくんは。わからない。だが今のマサヤには仲間がいるし、何より暮らしながいよ。アスカちゃんか。あいつは強くなったよ。私が出て行かなくてもきっと大丈夫なはずだ。Pain shoots to my body, making it hard to form proper words. What are you? What does she? Mine, he must have. He not a son, she must. She did mention something along those lines during the summer tournament. I think it was, I don't care whether it be one of the plays you raise or you yourself. But back then, I didn't take a word seriously, so I just assumed she was being dramatic. Dakara, that's not I going on what the toki. Saki to Hinata san. Tataka was a yoto, we must have. Kagami sensei ni tomerare mashita. Zanmen nagara. I see. That explains what she told me back then. Sore ni, sbete uke ireta wake jya nai zo. Saishu ni itte kita koto wa soku zani koto atta. Oh, what did she want? Sore ya mou nashi ni natta kara iyi jya nai ka. Sa, shiai no jumbi o shou. Damn. Sensei! Sekai de mo yumei de shita. ひなたさんいずれはこの少年が FC を変えると言われ私もとても熱心に調査していましたそれなのに私が戦いの場に現れた時あなたはもうそこにはいませんでした What do you want from me? I barely managed to squeeze out those words with my horse voice 何度でも言いましょう日向正也さんいつまで逃げているのですか What do you mean? I'm not running away from anything. 飛べるのに羽があるのにそれを隠してるのに Coward! Did you call me a coward? Ugh! 本当は誰よりも強いことに渇望しずっとし
誰よりも先へ上へと望む日向雅也なのねそんな自分を隠し続けコーチの立場を利用し部員たちを戦わせるなんて逃げているとしか言えませんハケニュー図星なのですか言われて腹が立ちましたか Like I said, you're wrong. 違わないでしょう女の子を矢面に立たせて才能がある才能があると褒め強い敵と戦わせるそれはあなたの本意ですかスタートセコンドだコーチだと言って逃げていれば安全圏でショックを受けずにいられるそのおいしい立場を失いたくないんじゃないですか Keep telling you, you're wrong. Damn, she got his ass though. He is running away. I'm not gonna lie. Anata, Tataka was just a nigger no deska. Sorega Anata no scene, no deska. Cotaina sai. Damn it. I sink to the ground as my knees gave out. Then I place my hands on the ground, grip the grass, and crush it. No, you're wrong. I want to say something, anything, but I can't bring myself to say anything substantial. I thought I worked past all this. I thought I got it over most of my trauma already. But now my old wounds are throbbing once more, and as I'm all over everything, a dark parasite starts to take over my body. It's not like. I keep trying to deny her claims, but my voice is so quiet that I'm sure it in a can't make it out anymore. I know my words won't reach anyone. Hell, they're not even reaching me. And so I hang my head as I begin to feel sick. But then. Chigaimasu! Aw, shit. I kind of knew she was coming, to be honest. I kind of saw that coming. <laughs> I hear a voice deny those claims as it threatens to suffocate me. And in a way, they give me strength as well. Startled, I look up. And when I do, I see Asuka standing there, staring straight into Irina's eyes. Irina's staring at Asuka now, but her expression remains the same. She's still not faced by anything we said. Pretty impressive. It takes a lot of courage to stand tall and never waver. Asuka? Everybody went home already. マセヤさんが逃げているといいました。それは絶対に違います。言った通りです。彼は逃げています。自分が戦えるのに戦おうとしていません。それが違うと言ってるんです。聞きましょう。どのように。マセヤさんは戦っています。私の前に立って。Oscar's words are filled with determination. However, despite all that, I did not remain calm and composed. クラシナスカさん。はい。あなたに比例があったのを謝罪します。でも私には日向さんが逃げていること曲げる気持ちはありません。Damn。どうしてそんなに日向雅也は世界で戦える選手だからです。For some reason, I don't know voice sounds awfully kind of of a sudden. 行きましょう。日向さん。she extends her hands out to me after saying that. Raga Habaron Group wa Sekai de Tataka. This is another rap potential. I won't mind going down the Adena route. Whatever, Idena route. 
Damn, they could have had another run right here, a side character. Damn, put this in the fan disc. Oh well. So, go to the hospital, but no, I'm not saying. You don't get to choose in this game. This is a visual novel. But only for. There's no choices, man. You just gotta. gotta I will go down this route. You want me to make a comeback? Damn, this low key could have been a Saki anyway route, actually. Damn. That's a missed opportunity. But then, that would mean backstabbing Asuka. That's kind of fucked up, though. So. I didn't smile and dazzle. Asuka san was still in the future. So, the coach is a different person. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. Right now, my heart is pounding against my chest. Because of my indecisiveness, she. What the hell am I doing? あなたはそこにいるべき人じゃないのです。だから目覚めてください。さあ、今すぐ。Oh, Arana extends her hand some more. And after a moment of hesitation, <laughs> I get up and position myself in front of Oscar without taking her hand. A place where I can forget everything else and just practice all day, huh? Sounds perfect. But I would have loved the idea back when I was a kid. Getting to train in a state of the art facility in Europe would have been a dream come true. Oscar's voice sounds a little hoarse. So the show. Then I'll set the cue. But I'm different now. Ooh! I'll never make that choice because I know you're wrong. Matching up there. So they are. Talk over this. Oscar. Listen, Oscar isn't some weak, insignificant player like you think. She's a nice guy. Maybe not right now, but that could all change tomorrow. Hell, it could even happen the day after tomorrow or the day after that. All I know is that she's going to climb higher and higher. See, what you don't get is that Oscar has no ceiling. And that's my point. I'm saying Asuka's different. She got her eyes set on something way bigger than being at the top of the FC world. So she'll never waver. Tell her! Tell her, Messiah! Tell her! The sky. Her main goal is to travel beyond the sky. To keep flying higher and higher. That's Asuka Kurashina's true desire. I've been wondering what sets Asuka apart for quite a while now. Why does she never feel strong opponents? How can she keep improving day after day? I ask myself those questions constantly, and thanks to that, I finally reached an answer. When I first saw Saki Inoue, I was afraid of her, but now I know I have nothing to worry about. Asuka and I is going to feed you two, so I got no reason to take you up on your offer. I give you another that reply, bow to her, then turn away. Oscar. Let's get going. Oh, that's pretty cool. Damn! Masaya, you're pretty fucking cool. Just like Misaki always saying her route. Damn, you're so fucking cool. We got more important things to do. Hi. We turn our back to I don't know something. And then without a moment delay, we start walking towards the staircase. I stop, and then I decide to answer a question without even turning around. I will return with Oscar. 
Oh, shit. Excuse us. Better than everyone else. Higher than anyone else. Oscar's trying to reach a place that I always dreamed of seeing. And she went to do it with a smile on her face. We're back at the club room, staring off into space silently. Practice is over for today, so we're the only one left. It feels kind of awkward to be seen across from each other like this, which is why I'm trying not to meet her gaze. Or, uh, I know this uh, bus. Oscar breaks the silence. Oscar, I interrupt Oscar. Uh, uh, I'm really happy that you told her I'm fighting alongside you. Thanks, but back then Oscar cheered me right up. I gained strength thanks to her words and encouragement. However, doubt still lingers in my heart. Thing is, she was kind of right. I chose not to fly, even though I can. The sight of me without a pair of FC grab shoes on used to beware. But now, I only wear usual commuter ones. I wasn't always like this. Yeah. I used to wear my flight suit more often than my regular clothes. But I can't even remember the last time I wore one. I was once a Skywalker. Those words flow right out of my mouth. This all happened back when I was still in elementary school. At the time, I was doing fine in school and more traditional sports, but it didn't really stand out in any way. And that was because I never managed to find anything I could pour my heart into. I just killed time every single day without figuring out what I truly wanted to do. That didn't stop me from looking though. I desperately searched for something new I could master, something unique that I could dominate because I wanted to travel beyond the known world and take in the unseen sights. And that desire grew stronger with each passing day. Eventually, I discovered FC. It all started when my dad took me to the regional tournament. To be honest, I didn't really expect much. I only agreed to tag along because I had nothing better to do. However, I fell in love with FC instantly. Players were racing through the sky at unimaginable speed, employing all sorts of different tactics and desperate struggle for points. And most of all, one particular Skywalker left an incredible and strong impression on me. Oi Kagami. Back in the day, no one else in Japan could even touch her. I was entranced by the sight of a single player who swept the regional tournament with little effort. The sheer beauty of Contrails left behind her grab shoes made a new desire bloom within me. I want to fly. My constant search ended on that day. My first encounter I had with this revolutionary new form of technology changed my way of life forever. When I reached the minimum operation age, I got my hands on some grab shoes and flew around every chance I got. There weren't many places I could go since flight areas were still fairly restricted but a brand new world opened up to me. Unfortunately, I couldn't get FC out of my mind. And soon enough, flying wasn't enough to satisfy me. I wanted to be faster. I wanted to stoke the fire that had been lit in my heart as I watched the regional tournament. And most of all, I wanted to meet the player who had inspired me. Luckily, I got the opportunity to do that rather fast. My dad knew someone who was related to Oisan, so he got her to agree to teach me. We went over the basics together, and then I woke up to Kurtz and asked her what I truly wanted. Please teach me FC. Oi son, dumbfounded by my request, but she quickly burst out laughing. I still remember what she asked me when she rubbed my head. Do you love the sky? I don't remember exactly how I replied. Though, it was probably something like, yeah I do, or more than anything. Either way, the expression of son face stuck with me. Despite how cheerful and kind she was acting, there was a sad look in her eyes. And I didn't understand how that was possible when she was a champion. 
You love flying, don't you? Oscar nods. Thing is, sometimes it gets easier to get hurt because how much you love it. Should I keep going? Should I actually let Oscar in and how the story ends? I should, considering where Oscar's headed. I'm sure she'll experience the exact same sense of pain someday. Do you want me to continue? Asuka gave me even a firmer nod this time around. She's staring at me intently, indicating that she doesn't want me to miss a single word. And so, I slowly continue my story. Oisun agreed to become my coach, so I was on cloud nine. I spent half a year drilling the basics into me, at which point I participated in a tournament full of older, more experienced players. But somehow, I managed to finish in third. After that, the FC Association recognized me as a representative of Japan in a newly established U-12 bracket. Thanks to that, the number of interviews requests kept going up, and around the same time, Oisan participated in the World Championship, so people started to talk me up as her disciple. They started to claim I was some prodigy who could change FC forever. And that talk made me certain this FC was what was I was looking for all along. Which was why I spread my wings and soared through the sky to my heart content. The sight of me flying seemed to make a lot of people happy. Which in turn had me over the moon. However. <laughs> my whole body is covered in sweat. And my breathing was ragged. That was the third time I had woken up due to the nightmare that day. I dried up, my throat hurts, and my vision was furious. See, sleepless night had become the norm for me. I wanted the regionals in my age group, then proceeded to dominate the nationals. Always son was so happy that people would have thought she was the one who won. Around then, the people around me started talking about going international. However, the more I kept winning, the more I started to fear flying. My graph shoes, which used to feel like an extension of my body, became heavy weights that dragged me down. The pressure was overwhelming me. I couldn't tell it was on that. Oh, yo, that's Shirase-san's little sister right there. I never noticed it, because I didn't know that was Shirase-san, but that is. Damn! What's her name? Minoki-san? Something like that. She should have had a route. How, how are you going to have a childhood friend? But not have a route for her. All she gets is unrequited love. She loves Messiah, but Messiah doesn't love her back. That's fucked up. That's whack. They should have made her a route for her. You always make a route for childhood friend. Alright, that's enough ranting. She believed in me more than anyone else, to the point where it seemed like watching me improve was her main source of joy in life. I knew she would do her best to help fix my problem if I told her. But I could also picture the disappointment look on her face, which kept me from telling her anything. Besides, at that time, Oi was busy practicing for her international debut. She was already sacrificing enough of her valuable time for me, so I figured it wasn't right to stress her out more by burdening her with my personal problems. Oi Kagami was the player I looked up to the most. That was why I decided to handle it on my own. Unfortunately, the pressure I was exposed to was beyond what my little body could take. <laughs> the nightmares and sleepless nights grew worse, transforming into a sense of nausea that constantly tormented me. <laughs> After being awakened by my usual nightmares, my gaze fell onto a shelf with all my trophies, ribbons, and interviews clipping on it. Why did I have to suffer? Flying through the sky used to be the most fun thing in the world. Flying higher and faster than anyone else used to be pure bliss. But I could only ever get to the point by competing in tournaments and coming out on top. I wanted to fun to last forever, so I had to keep practicing and winning. But the more I won, the more the pressure built up. At that point, I tried to use the glory that supposedly came with winning to distract myself from the pressure. 
But I knew all along that I'd grown to the point where I could no longer ignore it. I was talking to him on my own, sweat drenched hand. Naturally, I didn't receive any response. Then, on a certain one week before the World Championship, played against a random boy I met by chance while I was practicing. I never imagined I would lose. I mean, there was no way someone who dominated the national could lose to an amateur, right? And yet, the boy grew in an astonishing rate over a short two hour period. Techniques I mastered through weeks of harsh practice, ways of flying a train by working to the point where I had tears in my eyes. I kept learning them like there were no sweat. This is fucked up, man. All that little boy. Boy, right? Ah, fuck it. You already saw me, Sakura. All this Sakura want to do is have fun. But she just want to have fun, man. He took it the wrong way. It was just bad timing. He took it the wrong way. There's nothing fun about this. Cut it out and give back what you stole. Damn, Misaki is so happy. I miss Misaki Rao, I'm not gonna lie. No, how much more are you gonna steal from me before you're satisfied? How are you learning all these things that worked hard to master so easily? Get them back, give everything back. Shut up, I'm done here. I mean, if we keep playing, I... Stop it, quit asking for more! Dosta? Shut up, go away! Don't ever show your face around me again! Don't ask me why! Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Damn, he went crazy, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's the pressure, though. Too much pressure. Tour magazines and tournament certificates were before my eyes. The trophy on one had been broken in two pieces at the neck. <laughs> I grabbed the scattered scraps of paper and threw them to the ground. The word prodigy, which was on the one of the articles about me, entered my eyes. However, it was fuzzy because my vision was stained with tears. I stared at the scrap as I laughed at myself. Everything was taken away from me. I strongly believe I found my place in life. I strongly believe I could stay there, looking up at the sky forever. I strongly believe I was ahead of everyone else. And yet everything came crashing down around me. Someone like him, who mentioned master everything I threw at him, was the prodigy. He was the one who deserved to remain in the sky. <laughs> at that point, I just wanted to forget it all. The sky, the world, and also FC. I can no longer follow in the way sun footsteps. In fact, I didn't even have the right to remain in the sky. And that's why I ran away. I explained absolutely everything to her. From the reason I quit FC to what's going through my head. And honestly, it feels like it's helping me come to terms with the past. Pretty prophetic, huh? Here I'm talking big, trying to give everyone pep talk, when I'm just a coward who doesn't dare to take to the sky. I'm a terrible coach. I managed to stand my ground and fire back at Ina earlier, but it's only happened because I didn't want to let Oscar down. It isn't like I felt particularly strong or confident in that moment. I just barely pulled myself together thanks to Oscar. So Oscar seems to be having trouble finding the right words. She's not having trouble, you moron! 
Oscar always know the right thing to say. Cause Damn. I don't wanna say best girl. Maybe? I gotta wait till this route's over. Damn. I'm not. Asuka immediately denies my word, which makes it hard for me to respond. Huh. But I ran away. でも、それが辛いって分かるから、辛いんだよって教えられるじゃないですか。そんなの誰にだってできることじゃないんです。だから、そんな悲しいこと言わないでください。マサヤさんは、かっこよくて、優しくて、それに飛ぶことの楽し
Why is it always green though? He got like a random pair of uh, shoes, but they're still green. Damn anime! DMC ain't incoming. I can faintly make out Oscar's surprise voice. At first, I only move in a straight line. I pretend I'm on the first line and fly down in a form that reduces drag to a minimum. To my surprise, it seems I haven't forgotten much. Good. Anime. I haven't used FC grass shoes in years, but that doesn't seem to be hurting me at all. In fact, I feel the same sensation I did back when I was so into FC that I was sleeping with my grass shoes in my arms. I'm a little move, honestly. Okay, I'll show you something a little more natural and Oh, I'll do it. Oh, shit. I do a U turn and fly towards Oscar. Oscar appears bewildered. Stay where you are, though. If you get the chance to touch me, go for it. Yeah, if you can. I pick up speed. Watch closely, Oscar. Damn, that's it. What the fuck? The short version of the anime song. This is how you deal with your opponent who's waiting for you in the front of the second. Oh, God's looping. Oh. I increase my speed and keep rushing ah, toward her. What the fuck? That's weird. Usually, you stop here for a moment, right? Well, you can actually get past your opponent like this. I rush right into Asuka, then slightly alter my trajectory moments before impact. I fly a tight circle to dodge around her with minimal movement and blow past her without slowing down. An advanced move that takes a whole lot of practice. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, next let's have a dog fight. You know, I will say this, in Mashiro route, he did throw up. Off the route, he's not throwing up from flying. Nice. There are several ways to break out of the birdcage in this situation. Right, but there's something else that work even better. You'll see. I fly to Oscar and left as fast as I can. Aww. Oscar responds by tilting right and going for my back. And right as her hand closes in on me. Got you. I use the repulsive force from Oscar to leap backwards. It's basically the same with Oscar's special move. I use the backflip to switch position with her. Damn, he did backflip. Damn, she learned it. Oscar instantly spins around and tries to get behind me again. Next reaction, but I cancel the loop midway, twist my body 45 degrees to fly ahead. I need to cope with that, Oscar exposed her back to me. And I take that chance to score a point. Oscar start asking for tips right away. It's not... I'm not surprised. It takes a lot of work to seemingly chain one motion to another. It's been a long time to learn. It's real fun to do once you master it, though. I'll teach you once you've gotten better. The two of us kept... Uh, the two of us get swept up in the moment and soared through the sky for quite a while. We completely ignored the announcement that the sun is setting. And instead of heading back, we just fly through the cold air as if it's the most fun thing in the world. Damn, I want Messiah to say something. Not Messiah, Oisan. Because he finally flied. She was waiting for him for 10 plus years. I hope she knows. Wow. I didn't know it was so late. We're exhausted now. Somehow, we didn't even notice the sun setting before this point. Same. We exchanged a smile. I can't believe flying around without carrying the world was so fun. I feel like an idiot for avoiding it all these years. Oh. I got. I gotta compare. I, I need to compare how many scenes does Oscar and Misaki has, and compare them to how many scenes Mashiro and Rika has. 
I feel like they really did blow their budget, man. Hmm? What for? <laughs> ah! Just hug her. Say thank you, Asuka! You ignited my passion! Ah! You haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm the one who's been relying on you. So don't thank me. In fact, let me thank you. There's so much I'm grateful for, for that I don't even know where to begin. Slowly but surely, she's been leading me to this point. Bring me close to this place I've been scared for so long. You the whole reason I'm involved with FC again. I don't know what I'd be doing right now if you didn't ask me for help. Yeah, I didn't expect you to get so worked up about it. I remember that. She was pretty desperate. Right. And that pure, passionate part of you is what inspired a change in me. She made me remember the joy I felt when I first asked Oisan to take me under her wings. And now, there's no way I can ever forget that. Next door, my love for FC has started to return. My desire to soar through the air, to travel beyond the sky, has returned to me. If you didn't push me, I would ignore FC for the rest of my life. It almost feels like Oscar knew about my inner turmoil on some level. Maybe she even asked me to fly in order to help me. Thank you, Oscar. Damn, I love everyone named Oscar. Oh, wait a minute. Nah, I take that back. Nah. I'm glad I got to fly alongside you. I can't even begin to explain how much you've done for me. Earlier, she stood up to Arina-san to protect me. And now she's accepting all my flaws and encouraging me. I can't possibly thank her enough for everything. Anyway, we need to get back home. Let's, let's back to practice tomorrow. I turn the direction of my place and get ready to take off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But then Asuka calls my name, stopping me in my tracks. Ooh. Oh shit! Another anime! Damn! Oh man! I'm ready. She calls out to me yet again. Her voice sounds really soft. Have I ever heard this tone before? Asuka? My voice comes out a little hoarse. Oh. I get it. I understand how I managed to finally overcome my trauma. I couldn't do it alone, and time didn't heal it. I only managed to conquer it because I have Oscar by my side. Damn, he's not lying! He's not lying! Mashiro almost cured it. Nika! Don't remember. But Misaki, only if she won the entire tournament. Asuka, she cured it just like that. I can't snap really well, but... She did it hella quick. Thanks to her, my fear of flying had disappeared. Damn. Until now, I've been pushing these feelings aside. But Oscar's voice is making it hard for me to keep my emotions in check. Warm, fuzzy feeling that comforts me and makes my heart race. Powerful, kind words that force me to face upwards even when I'm on the edge of despair. All those things roll up in me at the same time. Oscar, I. Oscar engulfed in the warm light in the setting sun. Right now, I want to shout my feelings from the rooftop. Excuse me. Not that feeling. I know I have to tell her, but. She just keeps saying my name. I keep saying her name too. What's. What's the count at? Oscar cut out my name yet again. He noticed it. Oh. 
な気持ちになるんですずっとなんでなんだろうなって考えていてさっき飛んでいる時も考えていてそれで今マセヤさんからありがとうって言われて体の奥の方が温かくなって分かりましたマセヤさん大好きです That didn't have too much of an impact on me, but I do, I do like that she said that. Ah, holy shit! I should have stepped up and taken the lead. Man, I'm a total dumbass. I'm sorry, Oscar. Don't apologize. Now you look like a punk. Masaya-san. God damn it, Masaya-san! You fucking suck as an MC. I'm hopeless. Don't tell her that. I mean, I love you so much, but I made you confess first. You should have said, you should have, you should have ride the waves, man, ride it. When she said, I love you, she said, I love you too, Oscar. Then she went like, ba boom, right? She will skip a beat. Do you apologize for us? <laughs> She's laughing at you because you're awkward. I guess that works out too. We look at each other and laugh. Oscar. I gaze into Oscar's eyes. We see each other almost every day, but for some reason, it kind of feels like we're just meeting for the very first time. I love you too. There you go, yo! Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna wipe that clean. Start over very fresh. Like he said, this is for the very first time. Let's begin a new chapter. I love you too. There you go, that's the reaction she wanted. Damn. Her smile as bright as the setting sun behind her. Damn. Damn! Oh shit. Oscar! Shiny droplets start to spill down from Oscar's eyes. Damn. She waited three routes, man. Three routes. You gotta let her have it. Let her have this. Damn. I'm sorry I did you last, Sasuke. But I'm glad I did you last. This wouldn't have been so good if I didn't did you last. How can I ever repay her for her kindness? This girl puts on the cheerful front. But underneath that is a shine meek side that she hides to keep from burdening people. I'm happy to hear she loves me, but I also understand that I have a shoulder and heavy responsibility. Oscar. Hi. I love you, Oscar. Hi. Masaya san. Damn. That's fucking three times. This is this three times. I love you. It's the third time. There's still some tears in her eyes. However, I simply pretend not to notice a smile. I wish it wasn't flying. I guess it would be weird, right? In this game, you want to fly. You want to take advantage of the setting. But they can't hug each other. They can't hug each other when they fly because they'll bounce away. Because of fucking gravity or whatever. It's fucked up. They can only look at each other and say it. I wish he can hug her. Nasca smiles right back at me. Eventually, the sun sets in the dark out. But that doesn't matter since we want to be together for as long as possible. Oh! Who is she? I mean, I know who she is, but uh, who's she talking to? Oh! Let's go! Sensei! I mean, I know, right? How many years has it been? God damn, Sensei! I know I love Asuka, but uh, uh 
If I, uh, maybe, uh, Asuka would grow to be like Sensei. They both have pink hair. Hmm. True. I practiced with Asuka today. Soka. When I finally put on the FC shoes again, I realized that I haven't forgotten a single one of the moves to Tommy. Hmm. She's only 10 years older? Just do it! And Masai's not a bitch! If he's not a bitch, we can go down to Sensei Rao. Do it, Masaya! Expose Naval. It was fun. Soka. Man, why she wear her pants like that, though? That's kind of weird. It's a style. A style. That means she's only five years older than him or something like that. That's not that bad. Mm-hmm. Calling her a hoe? No, I'm not calling her a hoe. I'm just saying. Uh, why is everything so loose? Because she's wearing the high school uniform and Messiah flashback. Maybe she's loose. She's not loose, man. I'm just saying. Why does shirt got to be so small? Right. Why the belt was loose like that? And why is it her pants unbuckled? It's unbuttoned. She's unbuttoning her pants. On purpose. Hmm. I think you're facing me here right before I went out to the Nationals, right? So, so. The belt's buckled, but look at her belt though. It's flapping, man. It's flapping in the wind. Look, I know it's all in the past now, but it, that was terrible. I actually considered calling it quits. <laughs> I love you, Sensei. I don't care what anybody say. I love you, Sensei. Oi, oi, Sensei. I love you, Senpai. Oh, she's blushing. That never happened before. I'm taking this. Fuck this. There we go. Imanova. Is she blushing? I think I'm tripping. You can't love anyone. Maybe I can, man. Maybe I'm just a very uh, loving guy. Caring. If she were more Shimasen, Yeah. Of course, you said, I'll keep waiting here for you. Dude, she kept waiting for five years. Damn. Oh, fuck. I don't know why. I feel like someone just shot me in the throat. It was weird. All right, I put my hands down. Yeah, you did. I told you this side. I told everyone this already. There can only be one winner in the tournament. There's no such thing as a haram in this game. Only be one winner in the tournament. There's no such thing as a tied first place. You either win or you lose. That's how it goes. I love you too. I'm sorry. I am あの。やっと言いたかった言葉が言えるんだからな。お帰り。ません。Thanks. Oh, 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 this round's godlike. I love this round. 